It's Gaga Joy. Welcome to Gaga Joy's Cooking. We're making a candy today that's called Peanut Butter Pinwheels, and I'm sure you know it, and it's very easy. It's got four ingredients, well, five, really, ingredients if you count the uh, vanilla. It's very easy to make, and it's one of those things that I make every year, and it's just time to make it, so I thought I'd share it with you. First of all, I'm taking a half a stick of butter and a half of... A, uh, I, I would call it a stick of cream cheese. Now, then I'm doing it a half uh, recipe because I'm going to tell you, this makes a lot of candy. If you do a full recipe, you're going to feed several families. So, it's a half recipe. If you want to double it, you can and make the full recipe. Half a, in other words, a half a, a stick of cream cheese, a half a stick of butter. It has to be at room temperature. Now, and a, I'm not going to put it all in one time because we know what uh, powdered sugar does. It's uh, a box of powdered sugar or 16 ounces of powdered sugar. Let me burn it up before it puts the mixer on. Because we get a little powdery. I think this is my last batch of candy I'm going to make. I'm sure you all are down to that point too. And every, you just hope that you're not going to get powdered. <laughs> And it's not worth mix, uh, getting your big mixer out because it's just a bit too little for it. The recipe is too small, I think. So also, she made it so perfect. Just casually made it, and I work at it trying to get it perfect. <laughs> While you were gone, I put another half a cup of sugar in it. It's raining here today, and it changes everything when you're making candy. So you just have to be a little uh, considerate when you're doing it to make sure that it's the right consistency. Um, see what I've got? Actually, it's just probably the same consistency as uh, biscuits are before you roll them out. I'm going to put a little bit of vanilla in it, maybe a teaspoon. See what I mean? It's just uh, that delicate. Okay. Now, you have plenty of powdered sugar to put on the... I, I'm using parchment paper. You can use it, put it on anything you want to here. A board or wax paper. Or I just happen to have parchment paper. This is one of those candies that never have a leftover from because it's just, I guess, one of the candies from childhood that everybody remembers. Now, we're just going to roll it. We're going to try to roll it to a, well, a rectangle more than a square because we're going to, it's going to be rolled. Now, see, I'm going to roll it out with my hands a little bit. That's always a good way to do it to, so you know which way you're going and I think I'm going that that way. Just keep adding powdered sugar if it gets sticky. Because after all it is powdered sugar. <laughs> I don't wonder who came up with powdered sugar. Somebody was very smart weren't they? Okay. Let's see what we can do now.
ends don't have to be perfect because you really end up just cutting a little bit of the ends off. Okay. Let me feel it. Yeah, so I think it's rolled out enough. Maybe right there a little bit. If you get them home, just mend it. Okay. Now the next step is of course peanut butter. And who doesn't love peanut butter? Get the kind you like. I always I my kind is Jeff, but that's me. Uh, a lot of people you can you actually you can use um, crunchy peanut butter if you want to. You could put almonds. Or not almonds, but actually just any kind of nuts, but in this. I don't like nuts in it. I love just the peanut butter. That's just my preference. And it's usually about a cup of peanut butter. It takes the peanut butter pretty well. Now I've got enough peanut butter on it, and now we're going to start rolling it. And at the beginning, you might want to use your paper, I mean your parchment paper to get it good and started. Because let's face it, everything needs a good start. And it's a very forgiving recipe. Mistakes can be had. <laughs> well, I'm just about got it rolled. Sort of tuck it in here. Okay. I usually cut the, the rough ends off like that. So I have a pretty roll. Now, it's going to have to set about a half an hour because it's with a soft butter, soft, it doesn't cut very good. So, I'm going to set this in the refrigerator for about a half an hour and we'll try, we'll keep going. Okay, I set it in the freezer for about 10 minutes and see how pretty it is when you slice it. Uh, it probably would have done a little bit better if I had left it a little longer because it's still very soft, but we'll go for it. You see, it makes a pretty, quite a bit for a hypha inch or hypha recipe. I'm cutting about a half an inch or sometimes seven quarters of inches. And you can reshape it with your fingers if you want it rounder or more oblong. But like I said, I think it would have done it a little bit, it'd been a little bit prettier if I'd have been able to leave it for about a half an hour. But I think we're all in a hurry anymore to get things done. And my 
my son and I have tasted the end pieces, and believe me, it's delicious. <laughs> We're always the first to try it. Let's see, I've got five, ten, eighteen pieces. That's pretty good amount for a hive of a recipe. Well, subscribe, ring that bell, and leave a comment. And remember to join. We'll see you soon.